the scandal of Jesus. Now, scandal is kind of a funny word to use in the modern Western world because in our context, we hear that Jesus is a nice guy. He's a good leader, a great teacher, an example of love, but most of us don't find anything particularly scandalous about him. A scandalous person kind of stirs the pot, gets people talking around the water cooler, offends us. Scandal is kind of front page news stuff, and that's not Jesus, or is it? See, some of you actually grew up with Jesus on felt boards in Sunday school. White, perfect teeth, voluptuous hair, a big smile. Jesus kind of as an ancient hippie, self-help guru, fun, gentle, safe, puttering in the garden, smiling benignly, as one writer has said, waving now and then, mostly spending a lot of time in his room doing puzzles, winking at us in our sin. Chuck Norris meets Tony Robbins meets Mr. Rogers, safe for the whole family kind of guy. But... As we're going to see, this is all a big mistake, a misunderstanding of who Jesus really was. Jesus was a walking controversy who made life less safe for the whole family and all the friends who orbited around him. Over and over again, the Bible tells us this is exactly what Jesus did. 1 Corinthians 1 says, but we proclaim Christ a stumbling block. That word in the original language is actually the word scandal on. Matthew 13, and they took offense at him scandal on over and over and over again in the Bible, it says Jesus was a scandal because in the end, there was only two kinds of people in Jesus' time, two kinds of responses. You either loved Jesus and followed him with your whole being and worshiped him. And then there were those who rejected him and wanted to throw him off a cliff, crucify him. And we have to actually pick a side. See, modern people have decided that there's kind of a third way to respond to Jesus. Jesus is my homeboy t-shirts right? They, they don't love him, they don't worship him, and they don't hate him. They go kind of right up the middle, but Jesus doesn't actually allow that. So if Jesus is not God as he claimed to be, then he's not a great teacher. He's not a great leader or example. He's a terrible person who has led astray billions of people for thousands of years. C.S. Lewis said it this way, a man who is merely a man and said the sorts of things Jesus said would not be a great moral teacher. He would either be a lunatic or he would be the devil of hell. But let us not come with any patronizing nonsense about his being a great human teacher. He has not left that open to us. Mind blown. Jesus doesn't allow for a lukewarm agreement or partial acceptance of him. There's no middle ground, there's no middle road, which if we're honest is where most of us prefer to live, the place of the uncommitted middle. 